What is up everybody? Coach Daniel, Forte Athletics. And before we begin, I gotta give a special shout out to all of the performers, staff, and volunteers of the 2022 DCI season. I just got back from World Championships and oh my God, I was amazed by the level of excellence and athleticism you all achieved out on the field and in the lot. I understand how much hard work goes into making a season like this happen. And for that, I gotta say, I am proud of you and I am proud of this community for showing up, working hard, persevering through the inevitable challenges of drum corps and ultimately discovering a stronger version of yourself, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Many of you watching this are freshly home from drum corps. Hopefully you made it back in one piece. And at this moment, you're very likely in the best shape of your life, which I think is fantastic. You work so hard for that. But now that you're home, you have a decision to make. You're either going to maintain this momentum and build upon your current state of athleticism or slip back into old habits and lose most, if not all, of your gains from this summer. For those who are interested in continuing their fitness journey to show up to next season of Drum Corps stronger and more athletic than you currently are, this video is for you. Today we're talking about training for Drum Corps. This will be a year-round approach programming for peak performance. And we'll be covering quite a few topics today, such as the benefits of off-season training, the essential parts of athletic preparation, when the best time to start is, setting good goals, how to train for muscle growth, strength, sport-specific skill, and creating your own program. Be sure to stick around to the end of this video because there will be an exclusive opportunity just for you. And trust me when I say you do not want to miss this. Now, let's get into it. Starting with the benefits of training for drum corps, specifically in the off season. If you follow a training program and you take it seriously, you will have more muscle mass on you during the next drum corps season. If you march drum corps this season, it is very unlikely that you put on muscle mass throughout the season. Odds are you lost weight. That was a mixture of fat and muscle. And there's really no way around that because of the nature of this activity. So if you want to finish your season not looking like skin and bones and actually having some meat on you, you got to put the muscle on before the season starts. The next benefit is just building strength overall. This is going to give you better body control and body awareness, which will also reduce your fatigue. And both of those things combined are going to reduce your risk of injury. Injuries are super prevalent in drum corps. And I believe the reason why that's the case is because we train like athletes during the season, but we don't train like athletes during the off season. So we go from zero to a hundred like that. And of course the overuse injuries kick in right away. And if you didn't get injured, you surely know somebody else who was during this season. So by conditioning your body to the elements of drum corps throughout the year, it will reduce your risk of injury during the season. And that's ultimately going to allow you to enjoy your season so much more. Training throughout the year will also increase your odds of even getting a contract to March. If you show up to auditions, trust me when I say that your instructors are watching you to see if you train your body. I know many people, including myself, who have been cut from drum corps for lacking athleticism. So if you wanna stand out at auditions, training your body throughout the year is going to give you that edge against the competition. Training throughout the year allows you to carry your body with confidence because you know you've been working hard and you've got the body and the power and the mindset to show it. And when all of those factors mesh together, it improves your overall performance. So that's gonna increase your odds of getting a contract. So if there's a dream core out there that you're hoping to march next summer, training your body is one of the most effective ways to get you there. Next, let's talk about the essential parts of athletic preparation. 
First and foremost, you have your physical preparation, which aims to improve your physical abilities, ultimately maximizing your physiological potential. Also, there's the technical preparation, which aims to improve your level of mastery in your instrument, marching, and body movement. These days, all of those are equally important. There's also the psychological preparation and conditioning your mind and body to perform well under pressure is going to help you be a better performer on and off the field. There's also the intellectual preparation, which aims to improve your general knowledge of how to effectively carry out a fitness program, as well as like marching verbiage. You want to show up to auditions understanding what your instructors are talking about. Taking the time to prepare these four components is going to help you show up being the ultimate athlete you can be. Now let's talk about when to start. If you just got back from drum corps, please do not start training for next year in August. You have worked so hard for the past few months. Your body, your mind, your spirit, it needs a break. So you should take a couple weeks off of training guilt-free. I recommend beginning your training for next year in early September. And if you do begin in September, that will give you about 35 weeks to train, which equates to about six mesocycles each six weeks long. Now, if we look at the calendar from a very broad perspective, there are two very important points on this calendar that I wanna to bring to your attention. The first one is drum corps callbacks. When you hit callbacks, you wanna be in peak performance mode because ultimately that's what's gonna get you a spot on the field with your dream core. The next important date is gonna be move-ins. When you arrive to spring training, you also want to make sure that you're in tip-top shape so we can break the year down into two distinct phases. And if you want to maximize your potential as an athlete and as a performer, you want to make sure that you are training like an athlete throughout the year, not just like a month before spring training. Although that's better than nothing, that's not going to maximize your potential as an athlete, which is what we're all about here. Now within each of those phases, there will be a very specific goal, whether that be hypertrophy, which refers to building the size of your muscle, or strength, which refers to the neurological adaptations, increasing the recruitment of those muscle fibers, or working on sport specific skills like agility, direction changes, timing, uh, cardiovascular endurance is another one. And the timing of when we choose to work on these goals is very important because if you are training sport specific skills in September and then you don't touch it again until you've arrived at callbacks, you've kind of just shot yourself in the foot. Um, but if we can build muscle and then we can strengthen that muscle and then apply that to our sport specific skills, that's going to set you up to be <clears throat> money when you show up to callbacks. If we're training for muscle growth, our goal is hypertrophy, which refers to increasing the size of your muscles. We want to start here because a larger muscle has the potential to become a stronger muscle. And in terms of the periodization over the year, this typically takes place during the accumulation phase. Now the way to stimulate that hypertrophy response from your muscles is to follow the principle of progressive overload, which means that the work gets a little harder each week. And this is done with a lighter load. So you're not gonna be lifting heavy, you're just gonna be lifting a lot of times. And one of the downsides to this is that it's not working on your marching skills. So even though you might have larger muscles, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're using them in an efficient and effective manner to march. Uh, but we will get there. Now, if we're talking about training for strength, our goal is going to be neurological adaptations to improve the recruitment of this muscle fiber to do work. And in our periodization, this takes place during the intensification phase. The way to improve strength is also following the progressive overload principle, except rather than focusing on volume, we're focusing on intensity. And this is done with heavier weights, which will be much more taxing on your joints 
and your nervous system. So because of that, we wanna focus on less reps and less sets, but high intensity when we're working. Now, if we're training sports specific skills, our goal is to achieve peak performance. And in the periodization, this takes place during the realization phase, where we realize our full potential as an athlete. During this phase, we wanna mimic the demands of marching as best we can by focusing on multi-directional power to hit those direction changes, cardiovascular and muscular endurance are both important factors, our agility, acceleration, deceleration, which is very valuable out on the field, especially when you're taking big steps out of a hold or maybe you're hauling it and then you gotta stop on a dime. That is a skill we need to train. There's also the timing component, and if you're a horn player, the breathing component. And one of the benefits of training this is that it is directly applicable to marching. But one of the downsides is that we are not necessarily building strength here. So if you spend too much time in this phase, you can actually start to get weaker, which is something similar to what we see happen during the drum corps season. Now let's talk about creating a program that caters to these needs and ultimately leads you to peak performance when you need it most. The focus of your training will change throughout the year. If we look at the calendar here and we look at the training periods, we can see that the accumulation phase, building that muscle, leads into the intensification phase, strengthening that muscle, and ultimately the realization phase, realizing your maximum potential as an athlete right in time for drum corps callbacks. After that's done, we have our next phase of accumulation, building more muscle, intensification, getting it stronger, and ultimately realizing our potential as athletes again going into the drum corps season. There's a flow to this, and if you're following it closely, your training should remain interesting year round. And in order to effectively achieve the goals of these phases, it is important to log your workouts so that you can have objective data to show you that you're getting stronger or to show you that you need to modify your plan in some way. If you'd like to learn more about how to log your workouts, let me know in the comments below. Now, for those of you who have made it to the end of this video, I would like to share an exclusive opportunity with you. This year, Forte Athletics is going to host a private fitness community called the Shred Squad. Shred Squad, let's go! This community is perfect for 2023 drum corps candidates. Whether you're going to be a returning performer or if it's your first time, this will be perfect for you. Members of the Shred Squad will receive monthly workouts designed by myself and our Forte Athletics coaching team. This will help you show up to the gym knowing exactly what to work on so that you don't waste your valuable time and you don't have to go through that period of confusion trying to figure out what to do. Members will also be encouraged to submit videos for exercise form feedback. Our coaching staff will critically assess your movements to make sure you're doing them safely and effectively in a manner that optimizes your training and maximizes your gains. Members will also receive bi-weekly check-ins from our coaches because success is so much more achievable when there's accountability involved. During those conversations, we can figure out if we need to modify your plan at all, or if you just need some moral support, we are here to support you every step of the way. Our members will also have exclusive access to our private community where you can ask questions, get answers, help each other out, make new friends, and just learn and educate yourself for the long-term success of your journey. There will also be nutrition guidance because what you eat does affect how much muscle you gain or don't gain. So there will be recipes we can share with each other to help level up our cooking game, keep our diets interesting, and maximize our gains on this program. The members of the Shred Squad are also going to reduce their risk of injury in the 2023 season because we will be conditioning ourselves throughout the year when you show up to spring training, your body will be primed and ready to be the rock star you know you can be. Now, if you're interested in joining the Shred Squad, there is a link to the interest form down in the description below. 
I have to say that acceptance is limited and judged based on who we think is a good fit for this program. If you want to make this happen, you've got to act right now, like as soon as this video is done, because enrollment is closing on August 31st. If you are accepted into the Shred Squad, you will be notified between August 31st and September 3rd. If you have any questions about this process, or if there were any topics that we covered today that you would like to learn more about, please drop a comment to let us know. And if you found video in, and if you found value in this video, please hit that like button to show your support for the channel. It is a very subtle way to say thank you for the time and effort that goes into making these videos. And if you're not already subscribed, what you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join our tribe of marching athletes. That is all for today. I will see you next time. Ready and break.